Hi folks, it's uh, Nick here. Hope you are well. It's Wednesday, so let's go on a bit of a walk. Won't be so deep this time, you'd be um, happy to uh, hear, I'd imagine. So we'll keep this a bit fun. What we're going to talk about this time round. Now I know it's Wednesday, but every Thursday on the channel, for as long as I can remember, we tend to put up a pinball video, because that's where gaming sort of like uh, began. And um, I think uh, tomorrow, it might very well be a Sega Mega Drive one, last week it was an Amiga one, but before then we'd be looking at the PlayStation 4, most notably two companies, Farsight Studios and Zen Studios. Both of these companies are great in what they do, making uh, digital pinball tables, but up until now they've done very different areas of the market. Farsight Studios have concentrated on the preservation of old pinball tables, i.e. digitally recreating uh, tables that already exist. So in the wild they go out of date, of in disrepair, and digitally is probably the only way you can actually uh, uh, play them, so that has been much respect. And Zen Studios, who do Pinball FX3, before that Zen uh, Pinball 2, um, do more fantasy tables. They really go to town. There might be cartoon characters jumping around the, uh, the, the play field. They're based on Jurassic Park, Star Wars, Marvel, um, Jaws, uh, movie franchises, and other like, theme fantasy. So that's a bit out of control, um, superpower, and um, yeah, a pinball table would be impossible to recreate in the wild. So Farsight Studios, real life tables, um, Zen Studios, fantasy tables. Despite both companies being excellent, in terms of customer services when something goes wrong, um, Zen Studios has always been miles superior. I don't know if they've got more people working for them. And Farsight had this curious um, thing where you pay for a season of tables, uh, it might include like 12 to 20 tables, and they've released them throughout the year. But what was ha tending to happen in most recent seasons is um, you pay for the season in advance, you'd think the table's gonna come out every few months, and then um, you get about half of them, and then development was stopped for about a year and a half, and then you just, and there'd be lots of complaints on the forum waiting for the rest of the tables to come out. They eventually did, but it took absolutely ages. The license tables that um, Farsight, whoops, slippery bank again. The, far, the license tables which uh, Farsight were reproducing were sort of like Bally Midway, uh, Williams, Gottlieb, Stern, and uh, a few other ones to a lesser degree. Now, I did a, a, a vlog about this quite a while ago, but for whatever reason, a few months ago, um, uh, the license with Williams and Bally was not renewed, and so all the tables by Williams and Bally now you cannot um, download from the actual um, site anymore. So this idea of preservation, um, unless you've done them already, those tables are lost forever. And there's some great tables there, especially from Williams, like Medieval Madness, um, Fish Tales. That isn't such a good um, uh, one. Bride of Pimbot. And numerous other ones you can now, Fun House, there we go, so it's coming back to the old noggin, um, no longer can do. And you thought, oh, this is a bit bad. Is this a reflective of the way fast they are? They did rather stretch themselves a little bit there. So those tables are lost, and you think, oh, what's going to happen next? Because they did say they're going to concentrate on stern tables from now on. So bad news then, those two licenses, I think we lost over about 60 tables that you can no longer download. Hmm. Yesterday, there was an extremely surprising announcement from the Zen Studios. Um, before, they've always done fantasy tables, as we know. They suddenly announced that they'd picked up the Williams license. Now, not the Bally one so far, but the Williams license. So all tables like Medieval Madness, uh, Fun House, Black Knight, Black Knight 2000, potentially could now be digitally recreated by Zen Studios. And in their short video, you can see they've already started working on them. Now this is an amazing move, the first time they've started looking at real life tables. So what does this mean for the market? What does this mean for Farsight Studios? What is actually gonna happen next? So this is potentially excellent news then. These tables that we thought we'd lost are already coming back, literally only a few months after Farsight said they weren't gonna, well, the licenses weren't gonna be renewed. So something was actually happening in the background beforehand, I think, because these things don't happen this quickly. So uh, Farsight pushed out, Zen Studios in. Hmm, I think this might be quite good but I'm worried about where this leaves Farsight if they get any other licenses. The Bally license is there ready to pick up. Um, they've still got the Stern one, so what's gonna happen here? I'd be very interested to see um, 
tables like Medieval Madness, when Zen Studios recreate them, how that plays differently from the Farsight ones. But am I going to buy these tables twice on two different platforms? Probably not, but I'd be interested to see regardless. If you haven't seen it already, um, Zen Studios Pinball FX3 is available on a number of platforms. Uh, Steam, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, um, not sure about, I think Nintendo Switch as well. And um, you know, and the customer service they have is absolutely brilliant. They're going from strength to strength, and I, I think they are now the market leader when it comes to digital pinball. Um, now, um, I think they've got a hand solo a table coming out soon based on the new films. If they sent me a free copy of that or a free download, I'd certainly uh, review it. So, um, yes, okay. So, yes, yeah, so it's all looking Zen Studios, Farsight Studios um, seem to be taking a bit of a backward step now. So, what do you think of that? But, you know, in Roundup, regardless if you prefer Firesight Studios to Zen Studios, the main thing that's important here with all retro things is the preservation of these old games. That's why it's a bit um, weird from a previous one where Nintendo are removing all their ROMs, but hopefully they'll keep their actual games going. But that's a whole different um, uh, topic. So the tables are being preserved, and I look forward to seeing what Zen Studios come up with. Love their platform. A uh, brilliant company. And yeah, so I've given them a bit of a positive thing there. But I thought I'd share that news with you in case you haven't seen it. Um, the Williams tables, which the license have been dropped, you can no longer get from Farsight, is now been picked up by Zen Studios. Now, Farsight Studios had done quite a lot of their tables, so it would take Zen a little time to actually get up to the number that they had before, but I will certainly be very interested to look out for them. Will they keep them as standard tables, or will they add their extra fantasy on top of it? I'm hoping that they do both of them, so they do a standard table and then they do a fancy plus version on the top. But fingers crossed for that, but um, either way, great news. I better head back to base now uh, on this Wednesday. Looks like it's going to rain again, but we've been quite lucky so far with the weather. So yeah, thank you very much and I'll see you later on. Engine.